Moving now to the key issue of FDI and insurance. Among the first few reform bills, FDI and insurance is likely to be one of those that could get priority. However, private players are still wondering, even if that gets through, what could be the potential structure of this move and what will it mean really for India's insurance sector? Ira Dogal has this exclusive report. As the new government prepares to settle in, its reform agenda is packed. First off the list will be insurance reforms and raising the FDI cap in the sector to 49%, a long pending issue. But even as the government prepares to table the bill in the budget session itself, top insurance players are still lobbying for change. One change which is still being asked for is the structure of the foreign investment, where some private players would like to retain the FDI cap at 26%, and have the remaining 23% of foreign investment come in in the form of portfolio investments. Both ways capital comes into the insurance company, whether it is through a strategic investor or it is through a portfolio investor. The reason some people are talking of the latter rather than the former is because from a government standpoint it will become a lot easier and a lot more palatable to say that we've opened up foreign ownership limit, brought the much needed capital for insurance company and yet not diluted control. Even before the changes in the insurance sector get the final stamp of approval, most promoters are weighing their options. ICICI has already indicated that its foreign partner Prudential is willing to raise its stake and bring in more capital. And HDFC too has indicated that Standard Life would be willing to pump in more money. Our understanding is that if Standard Life, if foreign direct investment were to increase, we would give the option to Standard Life to take their stake higher, up to whatever is permitted by law, subject to that being not higher than HDFC. At the end of the day, it's Standard Life's call. Even as the private insurers continue to push their case, it seems the insurance bill will be passed in its current form for now, a move that will help draw in desperately needed capital into the Indian insurance industry. In Mumbai, Ira Dogal for NDTV.